Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, the opportunity for sharing the studies. So today I'm talking about the breast cancer screening among uh, immigrant women, and it has been a popular topic over over years. As we all know, this group, you know, they are more likely, they're more or less likely to attend cancer screening compared to uh, Australian-born women. So over the last 15 years, uh, my team has been doing a number of studies um, amongst their screening behaviors, and we focus on um, the immigrant women. And we are quite confident, um, while you know, we confidence or the results um, con uh, conclusively to report that cultural belief, such as uh, fatalistic uh, attitudes towards cancer and concept of um, uh, health checkup, have a significant impact on women's screening behaviors. And this time, we're also interested to look at the relationship between the demographic factors and the cultural factors uh, with their screening behaviors. And cultural uh, culturation factors um, is measured by length of stay in Australia and the English proficiency. So this time we have surveyed um, a large group of uh, immigrant women. So amongst these uh, 1,744 immigrant women, that include uh, Chinese, African, Indian, and uh, Korean, and Arabic. Um, and apart from the relationship of the demographic and cultural culturation factors, we also want to look at their current uh, screening status. So this is the um, demographic um, uh, background of this cohort, and the mean age is 46.2 years, years old. And as you can see, um, nearly half of them, they have uh, tertiary or above education background. In terms of the length of stay, and nearly uh, more than half of those, they have been in Australia less than 10 years. For English proficiency, as we can see, more than half of them, they have either good or very good English proficiencies. And in terms of breast um, awareness, and that is a great concern, as you can see, is only 19% of those, they report they have been being breast awareness. And this is a serious concern because the statistics shows that immigrant women, they often have a much earlier diagnosis of uh, breast cancer. I mean, their uh, peak age is between 40 to 49, which is 10 years younger than of the Australian-born women. So this group of women, they may not consider mammogram as a you know, as their part of screening practice. So breast being breast, breast awareness is really important for this group of women. Yeah. In terms of the mammogram, it looks like you know, we have a, you know, a, not a bad result. As uh, we can see, more than 60% of the women, they have a, a 10 mammogram as recommended. But while you know, uh, having a positive result, we need to take those maybe a bias into account. As we can see, these group of women, they have higher um, education level and they have uh, good English proficiency. And um, the research suggests that these may be the barriers you know, for attending screening. So while you know, having a, a positive result, and we need to take these bias into account. Okay. So in terms of the uh, demographic and culturation factors, what we found is being older and having um, a partner or being married and the uh, length of stay in Australia are the strongest pre predictors for being breast awareness and attending mammograms. So for the uh, having a partner or being married and what we know from the women, for some cultural groups like Arabic or Korean women, and they report they need to get a per, uh, permissions from the husband to get a mammogram. And given you know, the male dominance in these, kind, you know, these cultural groups, and we are not surprised. So being married and um, having a partner is a, you know, a predictor for attending um, a mammogram. And while for the longest, uh, for the length of stay in Australia, the longer the women stay, stay here, the more likely they attend um, mammogram or being breast awareness. And again, it's, it's not surprising that the, the longer we stay here, the more we are as assimilate or acculturate into the, the, uh, the local culture. Yeah. And for being older, and most likely, you know, for being older, they're more concerned about their health, and then they're more, you know, um, into the screening practice. 
So what we conclude is, you know, while we focusing on the promotion and these are the subgroups, and we need to put our, you know, target um, promotion target on these subgroups in order to promote their screening practice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Canis. Um, so, does anybody have any questions? Thank you. Um, so, the immigrants that you got surveyed, they seemed very geographically specific to one area of the world. Was that a coincidence or was it more like, were there any European sort of immigrant families that you interviewed or not? I think um, it's the way we, we coach the women. So doing research in ethnic communities and very much you need to have a good networking with the, community, uh, the ethnic community centers. For quite likely the women, if they can go to the, community, uh, the ethnic community, community centers, they're not socially isolated. So in terms, you know, they have you know, more likely they have good education background and English proficiency, put it that way, yeah, yeah. So that's why I think next time we would like to have a wider group, includes those if they have been, um, um, they, they don't have that good English proficiency or those with, without those high education backgrounds, yeah, to yeah, complement, uh, you know, the, 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 the result. Mm. Okay, does anybody, yep. Um, thank you. Um, I was just wondering the link with the um, English proficiency because um, our research in Liverpool from our Translational Cancer Research Fellow, um, Ben Smith and team showed that uh, there's a barrier of uh, Celt, culturally linguistically diverse people for clinical trial precipitation, and it's not just the fact that they don't speak English, it's the preference not to speak English at home. So I was wondering um, if you, when you widen up this, your, your, your next project, um, if you would look for that differentiator. Yeah, it's a good question. So, you know, we are surprised actually, um, you know, a bodies of uh, international literatures, they confirm English is, uh, you know, a crucial factor for screening services, right? But myself, I don't see that in the health context. For example, a lot of immigrants, including myself, I don't have the language barriers, but we prefer to see a GP that who can share our culture and our language. So, so, um, so that's why we argue, instead of the cultural factors, even though without language barriers, immigrant women they don't do mammograms because mainly, you know, the, the studies we did concludes that it's the cultural, it's the cultural belief. Yeah. So they, they don't see themselves, they need to have a mammogram. They only see those, uh, uh, you know, Australian women. The mammogram is for Australian women. So they don't see themselves into it. Yeah. So, in, yes, language is a big barrier, but it's not the crucial one. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.